Here we have three copies of the Salamis tablet with a full 11 lines on the bottom uh, table, but only two on the top because we're not going to use large exponents. But you notice I've also doubled the lines every two lines. Okay, And what we're going to do is use two lines for each digit in base 60. So this will have one, two, three, four, five digits to a number in base 60. And let's, let's just use one of them here and see how we count in base 60. Of course, one, two, three. And if we have three, we can replace it by five minus two. If we add one, we get um, four. If we add one to that, we get five. Add one to that, we get six. Add another, we get seven. Add another, this can change to three and promote one. We get eight. Add another, these cancel, we get nine. Add another, we get 10. So that's how you count up to 10 within each digit. Now let's just concentrate, we'll count by tens from that point on. So here's 10. Here's 20. Now 20 could be changed to 30 minus 10. So 30 minus 10. This space is 30. Minus 10 is 20. Add 10. These cancel. We get 30. Add 10. We have 40. Now 40 um, can also be 60 which is the next line here, 60 minus 20. Add 10 to that, and we get 60 minus 10 is 50. Add 10 to that, and we get 60. One vestige of base 60 numbers in modern uh, numbers is in angle measurements. For instance, the Statue of Liberty is at 40 degrees, 41 minutes, 22 seconds north latitude, and 74 degrees, 2 minutes, 39 seconds west longitude. Now, a minute is 1 60th of a degree, and a second is 1 60th of a minute. So, purely sexagesimal numbers. So, for instance, if we want to find the opposite point on the Earth to the Statue of Liberty, we could rationalize uh, that the latitude is going to be 40 degrees, 41 minutes, 22 seconds south. You could draw a diagram to show yourself that. But the longitude, we're going to have to treat the westerly longitude as negative and add 180 degrees to go halfway around the Earth. And so we're going to try to do this calculation on a base 60 counting board. We note that 74 degrees is 1 times 60 plus 14. So this number in sexagesimal would be minus 1 comma 14 point decimal point or sexagesimal point 2 comma 39. And 180 degrees is 3 times 60. So this number in sexagesimal is 3 comma 0 with the uh, point here, radix point. So let's try to do this on the counting board and see if we come up with this. So first we'll enter the number minus 114, 239. Minus 114, 2, 39. Now, the radix point is here, but we want it up here, so we go up 2, so we need an exponent of 2 on the 60 multiplier. All right, now we want to enter the plus 3, 0. So we're going to enter, well, I could enter it here, let's say plus 3, 0, and the points here. But again, I want it up here, so 1, 2, same exponent. Okay, now let's consolidate and read. First of all, these two cancel. 
Uh, this I can read, but this one I can't, so I need a zero pair here, in which case this cancels that. Okay, now this is 60 minus 20. Well, let's do it a different way. 60 is two thirties. Okay, now 30 minus 20 is 10. Okay, now I can't read this one, so I need a zero pair here. Um, Okay, I can't read this, so I need a zero pair here. So this one can come over and get rid of that. Okay. Uh, this is 30 minus 10, or 20. This is 3, which is minus 3, minus 5 plus 2. And this can come over and cancel this one. Okay, let's see what it reads. It reads 1, 40, 5, 57, 57, 21, 145, 57, 21. Now, with this as the exponent, the radix point is here. So, if I didn't have that exponent, the radix point would be 1, 2 down here. So, it would be 145 point 50 Seven twenty-one. Just what we wanted. And of course the one is 60. 60 plus 45 is 105 degrees. 57 minutes, 21 seconds east. So the opposite point to the Statue of Liberty is off the southwest coast of Australia.